The casino had to make a mistake, man. What do you think, Christian? One more time? One more. You got it in you still? I do. I can do this. They're wore out, but I have faith in you. You're a machine, man. They're calling it a day. What do you think this is here? I don't, uh, I don't know. What does it look like? It definitely doesn't look like that uh, the, that thing that rhymes with power. Yeah, no, it's not power. And it doesn't it doesn't taste like that thing that tastes like sour that rhymes with that either. Nope. I don't know what it is. It's probably just a cooling. Wait, you almost got me there. Right, you almost it's said cooling. it. It's just a cooling stack. Yeah, cooling stack. It's a cooling stack. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. We have $25 in Lucky Bag Steve. Right. Steve, one more time, my friend. Steve's ready for this one. He's... Just, we need you, Steve. Everybody else is worn out. They're tuckered. They're tired. Christian, you got the energy, right? I have all of the energy. You got it all. You got it all. What do you think's in the mystery bag back there? I'm a, I did say last time, but I'm going to say car keys. I, I think mean, you're probably right. This is car keys this time, yes. I think you're probably right. I'm gonna go Black, to the left. velvet, mystery bag. Left is always best, right? Yep. Left is always best. Car keys. If that's a Honda Civic, man, that, be awesome. does, that would be incredible. That would be incredible. Would you tell patients? Would, I, you, would you call it right away? I would. Like, get off the toilet and take a Why? seat. Why? Leave the food alone at the casino. <laughs> we just got us a Honda Civic, baby. We going for a ride. I would. I would have to. Does that mean I'm not taking you home then? You guys are going by yourselves? Well, I mean, if we can take it home right away. I don't know how that works. You know what? There might be paperwork. And you got to pay taxes, too. Yep. Paperwork, taxes. I mean, really, after the paperwork and the taxes, do you think it's worth winning a Honda Civic? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I mean, I, I, I yeah. still think it should be less than uh, what their like cost is. You ever hear about all those contestants that go on The Price Is Right and they win all those huge prizes, but they they can't accept them because the IRS makes them pay taxes on it, so they the prizes get abandoned. Did you, did you ever hear about that? I never heard about it, but that? I can I, under, I can I understand it. Cause yeah. I mean, like, hey, taxes on like a really expensive car and stuff is. A lot of money. It's a lot of money. So let's say you win a fifty thousand dollar car, and then the IRS comes up and goes, "Hey, you owe thirty percent on that." And they go, "Listen, I got a lump sum of fifteen to twenty thousand dollars." They go, "I can't accept this. I can't pay the taxes on it." Do you have to pay all the taxes right away, or is it like can you like monthly payments on the taxes? That's a good question. I don't know. I would hope you could do monthly payments. I mean, like. I have to do quarterly payments on taxes because I'm self-employed. So I have to do estimated quarterly taxes or I get yeah. penalized. I, yeah. The like, tax lady was telling me to do that. Yeah, that's always a good thing to do. But um, I don't know if you can do like a monthly payment. Maybe they come up with monthly payments. I'm not sure. Maybe for that. You would think that the game shows, though, would actually pay the taxes. But if they paid the taxes... You would have to pay taxes on them paying the taxes. Does that make sense? Because that's income too. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a lot of tax. Like, let's say I give you $100,000. Okay. IRS, let's just say it's 30%, 30% tax rate. So IRS says, all right, Christian, you owe us $30,000. And I go, Christian, it's not right that I gave you $100,000 and the IRS is going to take $30,000 of it. I'm going to give you $30,000 to pay the taxes. <laughs> then that's another $30,000 that you would have to pay the IRS. But I could also just be like, hey, Jeremy, I have this really nice bucket here. I'll sell it to you for <laughs> <laughs> I'll sell you this bucket for a hundred thousand dollars. I'll sell you this plastic bucket that you can buy at Lowe's or Home Depot for five bucks. But uh, this one's special. It's got I touched it. It's got extra concrete from whenever yeah, I yeah yeah yeah. There you go. It's the Christian special bucket. Yeah, that might be. Uh, they might they might figure that one out. They might. I mean, they're not. They'd be like, who do you think you are? The U.S. government buying $100,000 buckets and $200,000 hammers? Be like, well, yeah, that's who I learned it from. 
I learned it's it from got this nice, It's got this nice sticker on it. But don't you understand? This is a one and only Christian bucket. Yep. There's only one like it in this world. Not another one. And he's an artiste. When he's dead, it's going to be worth a hundred million. Yep. No, I, don't, I don't know what if they'll go for it or not. No, probably not. Yeah, that'd be... They'd yeah. like, Christian who? <laughs> like, do you not watch What the Hales? <laughs> what the Hales is wrong with you? I got one quarter left. We got something to drop there. You got good. some good pushes. What? One more? No. Look at the quarters to the to the left, just hanging and dangling over. Yep. All right, let's pull. We got 52, 25. Holy cow. Really good pull. I, I honestly dude, can't believe it. Dude, there is no way you pushed 52. What was it? 25. There's no way you pushed it, man. I could have. The casino had to make a mistake. I don't know. The casino had to make a mistake, man. This has happened before where things didn't get cleaned out. Or somebody played before you. Maybe. That doesn't make sense. Nobody played before you because they would have taken their coins, right? I mean, you'd think so. Unless, you know what could have happened? What? Some coins could have fell in from the left or from the right. Oh, look at over the right. Look at the mass pile over there on the right. There could have been... All oh, things just moved. There could have been a tower that fell in there, but my guess is the casino actually made a mistake and they forgot to clean the shootout. I agree. We've seen it a couple times before. What do you think? I think you're probably right. I don't know how I could have got that much, but it's awesome that I did. Hey, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm thrilled for you, man. I'm thrilled for you. Just remember, the IRS wants 30 35%. So. <laughs> Even even when you find it in the shoot, they're gonna try and take their portion. That's crazy. They try and get it all. Can't even go on a game show and win something awesome. Makes you wonder, like those people that go on and win like a million dollars. And then, well, I would assume that they take the portion of the million and then pay yeah, the right. And that's how that works, right? I mean, the same when you win the lottery, right? A so you want to win the money, you don't want to win an item. No, yeah, exactly. You want to win, if you win the money, you got money to pay the taxes, so then you're good. If you win an item, you have to pay money, and... Can I sell the item <laughs> to pay the money? And I'm not sure. I think, they, I think they want payment right away. I don't know. I honestly don't know 100% for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's why most contestants, they don't take it, they don't receive it, is because IRS probably wants their cut right away. But you're good. You you, can, you got enough. You're okay to pay the taxes on the Honda Civic. I think so. Are but you, I, mean, I mean, technically, yes. In all reality... You know, this is a uh, this this is a paid day of work. Yeah, so. this would be a company car. So. so this would be a company car. The question is, do I have enough money to pay the taxes? And I will if you knock this cooling thing down. If we claim a Honda Civic with the car keys we there in the back. Claim Honda Civic. We'll pay all in quarters. Woo. That's a lot of quarters. The IRS might be like, oh, actually, you guys can keep your quarters. Uh, Wouldn't that be funny if you're like, here you, you go, IRS. You bring out a wheelbarrow full of quarters. They're like, we're used to pennies, not quarters. Go cash them in for pennies and bring them back. No, we pay in quarters and quarters only. Don't make us bring the gold quarters. Mystery bag still floating back there. Floating like a boat on the ocean. Although it's moved a little bit. It's, it's kind of moving to the left, yeah. This cooling stack has moved a little bit as well. It kind of looks like a monument. A monument to symbolize freedom. Freedom! It looks like something you'd see in the Olympics. Torches up top. Yeah! Flowers. It actually looks yeah. exactly kind of like that. You know, that, that's where, like, the, like, what is it, the eternal flame or whatever? Yeah! Do they like bring the torch? Do you think that flame actually ever goes out, or do they keep it running? Does, does that flame keep burning in between each Olympics? I think it goes out between the Olympics, but I think during the Olympics it goes the whole time. 
you know what? We should sue them for false advertisement because it's not an eternal flame if it goes out between the Olympics. True. It's an intermediate flame at best. <laughs> well, is it, there's that flame at uh, the Arlington Cemetery that's always going. Really? I didn't know about that. I don't. I can't remember. It's from one of the presidents, I think. Really? Yeah, it's it burns all, 24-7, like, all the time. And I Well, I don't know if it ever goes out, but... Who keeps it on fire? I don't know. Somebody does. Somebody that's maintaining the Arlington Cemetery, which I'm sure there's quite a few people that do that. Dude, I wonder if there's ever been a worker whose job was to keep the flame going, and then the flame went out, and they got fired for it. <laughs> and like, hey. don't tell! Don't tell anybody! Oh, nice push! I'm sure it's probably gone out at some point, but... Like, there's a huge storm. No, it's not my fault. There was a huge storm. I swear, this big gust of wind came in and blew it out. You're fired. I don't, I don't even know how they keep going. I think it might be like a protein. It's protein gotta thing. be. Gotta be like fuel. Do you think the, like even if when they have to replace it, it would go out? Yeah. Unless they can just have a constant supply all the time, but I don't know. Yes. At some point, the world's gonna run out of natural gas, right? Yeah, we're using it to run a flame 24-7. Yeah, it'd be like, somebody put that flame out, uh, we're running out of gas here in the world. You're getting some really good purchases. It's like, yeah, it'll be fine. There'll be more gas made in a couple hundred million years. Yeah. <laughs> By that time, they'll figure out how to make parts in the fuel. I think you could already do that, right? You just gotta harness it. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm not sure if they have that technology available or not, but if they do... I'd like to start running my truck off of that because diesel is roughly uh, six dollars a gallon right now. Gas is five. Gas is rough. five. Diesel is six. They said get diesel; it's cheaper. Yeah. Uh huh. It was at one point. I mean, I remember when I filled my gas tank; it was like thirty dollars. Now it's sixty. Dude, two hundred dollars to fill up Ramses. That's a lot. And I have to do it every other day. That's crazy. It's wild. I have 50 cents left. Make it count, make it count. You're getting really good pushes. Come on. Get a good one. Good, more pushes. Nice. Nice, okay, they're pretty good. Getting good ammo. All right, let's pull. We got 66.50. That's pretty good. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Well, we're doing pretty good pulls. You're doing really good pulls. If it wasn't for the casino mistaken messing up, then um, we might not be in it. We might be on the road home. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if this guy's moving. I've, I've actually been filling with the middle a little bit because the right and left are kind of thinning out. Sometimes you just got to fiddle with that middle, Christian. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's a good nice. idea. I think it's a good idea. Especially if you can get some of them hundreds. Oh, you yeah. get the car keys, get some hundreds. Well, you know what? The right, even though it was thinning out, like, like, my, uh, like my head with my hair, Still got a really good push there. Does male pattern baldness run in your family? Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't. Well, then that's good. That means no, because you don't know anybody who's getting bald. Well, my grandpa is kind of. But he still has hair on his head? Yeah. That's good. Not like a ton. My dad <laughs> has like a receding hairline. That means you're gonna get it too. It's but a like, vanilla white It's not like, thing. he didn't have it like really bad though. You'll, you'll have a receding hairline too then. Nice. Genetics, man. Bad DNA, man. I don't know why I had to grow up white, but this receding hairline is a curse. Although I am 1% Irish. I did a DNA test. I'm 1% Irish. So you're going to start going redhead? Yeah, I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm a freckled redhead. 1%. 1% <laughs> of me is. I'm not going to tell you where those red hairs are, but, um, or those freckles, but I am a 1% freckled redhead. Got a little bit of the leprechaun in I think, I think I'm, like, part Irish. I don't remember what I, I took a DNA test, too, and I don't remember what it said I was. Oh! Oh, 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 oh think that stayed in. The stink stack did stay in. The stink stack stayed in the giant's cooling stack. Yep. That whole thing shifted. Yeah, I was hoping for more than 1% Irish so I could get a whole lot more kisses on St. Patrick's Day, but, you know, 
At least I can still say kiss me, I'm Irish. <laughs> Even if it's 1%. I used to joke around and say I was 12.5%, but come to find out it's just 1%. It's like 1% milk. Except for 1% milk is an Irish 1% milk. What's in it? 1% fat. Oh, is that? Oh, that's what it is. Patience didn't know that one day. She thought it was actually just 1% milk. And you're like, no, that's the fat count. I was like, yeah, that's how much fat's in it. Never have enough fat, right? Yeah, oh, nice! Got at least go with the two percent. Oh, wow! The whole thing just moved. The whole thing just moved. The mystery bag is off the top tray. It gave a huge shove. Those keys must be strong. That'd be my guess. Really strong. Yeah, I'm like one percent Irish. I've got. Um, I mean, most of it is just English. I mean, obviously, if you think of, like, the Prince of Wales, and then you think Jeremy Hales. Hales. Yeah, 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 I see. I can you, see. Go, you go, oh, yeah, that, he's British. <laughs> yeah. You know, family at some point came over on the boat, immigrated over. I think I'm, I'm like, 40 to 50% German. Really? Yeah. I got a lot of German. Which, I can, like, even... You, I, I went back on my family tree. My yeah. sisters did that a few years ago. Yeah. And, like, all of them have just German names. Like, they're 100% German people. I can't even pronounce any of them. You gotta be careful when you do those DNA tests. You might find out something you don't want to know. Like what? Like that your dad is the mailman. Oh. Well, my dad hasn't ever done a DNA test, so I only have my mom's side. For so DNA. So you're good, okay. Yeah, because like, I think my sisters did it, and then my grandma did right. it. So like that's all where my like ancestry came from. Oh, you got it. I know my mom's side of my DNA, not my dad's. So my dad's side, they said that, I heard that at one point that was like Native American. Really? Or like at least a little bit of it. But they, uh... I have no idea. My DNA test says nothing about it, so that might have been a lie. But that if my dad has never, cool, if nobody on my dad's side has ever done a DNA test, then that would explain why nobody's ever done it, or I wouldn't have any. For you to have German, Indian, I mean that's America is a melting pot, man. It is, yeah. It's, I mean, I'm everything. And the reality is, people are people. You love a person for who they are. Not for what they, are. what they are, exactly. I tell George that all the time. I love you for who you are. Her laugh. That's what made me fall in love. It was the laugh. It was the humor. And you can't you can't find any of that information on a DNA test, whether they're funny or not. For that, you got to take them out on a few days. I clone them. Taco Bell, right? Yep, Taco Bell's good. Although Taco Bell is being boycotted right now. Because of why? They ran out of Mexican pizzas. Because of the Mexican pizzas, oh my goodness. Well, they, they brought them back, but within like two weeks, they ran out of the entire supply. So, this patience, is she boycotting? Yes. We haven't had Taco Bell since we've tried. That's so patience. I can't believe they ran out of my favorite. I'm boycotting. She, well, she's, she was very upset. I believe it. Like, that that I mean, sounds like a patience thing. You see, if you ever seen ha hangry patients, basically the same thing, but she's not even hungry. Yeah, hangry, hangry patients is, um, is not something you want to mess with. It's just like hangry George, hangry any woman. Yep. There was one day, because we we drove. There's two Taco Bells in Worcester, and uh, we drove to one. They they had a sign that said that they were out, so she's like, "All right, I'm not eating here. We're going to a different one." So we went up to the other to the other one. There was none there, and then I was like, "Okay, I'm sorry, we can't get it today." So we came around, waited a couple days. She said, "I want Taco Bell again," but I'm like, you know, they're out of Mexican pizzas, right? They don't have them. And then she's like, "I don't care." And so I was like, "All right, fine. I'll see if I can find one." So we I started calling around like five different Taco Bells, like. In like neighboring cities. Yeah, hundreds. 
Oh, you got the hundred over there. Nice, right? you got the hundred. Yeah. And yeah. everybody's out of it? Well, most of them, yes. And that's when I actually found out that they had this shortage, just because I called around and they somebody told me. And uh, But I eventually found one that said that they had them. And uh, they had like two boxes left and they're selling them until they run out. And I was like, okay, well, we'll be there. Save one at least. And we drove like 25 minutes to a top to go to Taco Bell. That's funny, man. Those were my last quarters. You guys should have bought them all and then took them home and froze them. <laughs> Can I buy the case? Yeah, just sell me the whole case. All right, let's pull. Just the beginning of what you're about to get, right? Yep. I Got love it. Nice 100. I love it. Lots of good ammo, too. Yeah. Really good ammo. We have 73, 75. I feel like you got this, man. This is the one. I feel like you got We're this. We're gonna get it down. Everybody's tucker and wore out. Everything's wearing down. One more win. One more win. Try a little rapido. Rapido! Rapido! You got this, man. You got this. Mystery Look bag's at that coming mystery around. Bag coming around. Mystery bag is definitely coming around. That's awesome. Keep it coming. Be coming around the cooling stack when it comes. It's not a mountain. It'll be coming around the cooling stack when it comes. See, it'll be coming around the cooling stack. We're coming around the cooling stack. We're coming around the cooling stack when it comes. It looks like car keys, man. I gotta agree with you. It does look like car keys. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's the one. It's the time. I mean, if there was ever a moment to have car keys, this would be it, right? It would. Come on, car keys. Mexican pizzas did you guys buy when you went? One. Just one? Yeah. You went all that way and you only got one. I don't I don't eat the Mexican pizzas. I, I mean that's either. Patience's thing. I get I get the burrito. I can't believe you guys didn't just buy a whole box. I don't even know if that's an option. I, I mean you don't know unless you ask. That is like, true. Listen, my baby, she'd be loving this stuff. But I don't I don't know how you make a Mexican pizza. I don't know, you probably just heat it, right? I mean, it's fast food. I don't know. You probably just heat it in the oven. It might have to be. Nah, you're probably right. I have no idea, though. That'd be my guess. It just heats up. I also don't, like, really understand, like, what they're running out of. Because it's really only, like, meat. And, like, are they running out of, like, the tortilla things? I don't know. Like, I, like, that's what I'm wondering. Like, is it just the tortilla, like, part that they're running out of? Maybe they're running out of just peanut butter because of the recall. I have been hearing about that. That's bad, man. You know that's what I eat. I eat what are you supposed to eat? every morning. Yeah, what are you supposed to eat with your your uh, your apples? Now I'm eating generic peanut butter. Oh, no, Skippy. <laughs> Walmart, great value. Which is just as good. I don't care. I just like the big giant Jif cans because I can get my whole fist in it with an apple slice and just and just dip it in. Are you, are you talking about like the ones that are uh, like the metal tins yeah, that are like yeah. huge? Yeah. So I get those because Jeff makes the biggest one, and it just, it's nice because I can get my whole fist in with an apple slice. So the other jars, I can't get my whole fist in and out with an apple slice. I bet you you could probably find like a great value one that's big, that's I got like, the I got the biggest one. Like Sam's Club? Oh, uh, Sam's I haven't Club. gone to Sam's Club. I know, I, you need like a membership to work. Yeah, there, I probably but... should do Sam's Club. And Sam's Club's got to have the big ones. They have everything that's huge there. Oh! It's Mr. caught. Man. It's caught on the left. It's caught. You're going to have to get some pushing power to get it to fall down. It's in the chute, but it's kind of caught. Those keys, it must be the heaviness of the keys, Christian. Yeah. Something like that. I'm sure you'll get enough quarters to push it in. As soon as this cooling stack gets well, knocked over. That cooling stack falls, you know it's all going. If the cooling stack falls, does that mean there's a nuclear meltdown? Not always, because not all cooling stacks are nuclear. 
Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yes, you did. I didn't know that? You knew that. I didn't know that. I thought they were only for nuclear power plants. Were you not listening to the the guide while we were on our shark our shark oh, trip? Oh, in Florida. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Because the Crystal River nuclear power plant isn't nuclear anymore, and they're taking the cooling stack down, but the cooling stack still runs. Yeah. Yeah. I got, See, you. I got you. That's when I learned it. Not all cooling stacks are, are nuclear ones. They could also just be for other purposes. Not, I'll be honest, I didn't really listen that much because I couldn't really hear him. The it's, wind's tough. it's tough with that wind blowing. Yeah, the wind's blowing, and we were in the front of the boat. And you only got one good ear. Yeah, and so, there's yeah. also that. Yeah, so... Background noise is not my friend. Yeah. Have you ever thought about a uh, hearing aid in your bad ear? Would it work? Um, I don't know. I, I know that, like, the way I have hearing loss is a little different than, like, how hearing aids help. I need a special hearing aid. Oh. Because I have hearing loss in my uh, mechanical hearing loss, which is like my bones. You know, you have three bones in your ear. Yeah. My bones in my ear are like not 100% right. Because I had to turn one of them sideways to get rid of a tumor. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it, that's why I have hearing loss. I don't know how like a hearing aid would help you with that. But I think yeah, it's possible, but I don't know how it works. It's never been so significantly like impactful in my life that I've had to worry about it. Yeah. I have one good ear. You know, I can, I can hear. But half the stuff isn't worth listening to anyway. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I, gotta, I gotta get an excuse for toning things out. That's why you're so easy going. You don't hear all the garbage. Only whatever somebody wants me to hear. Uh, then, they, then they get my attention and tell me. Dun, dun, dun. You got the marquee lights popping. Popping like popcorn. Popcorn's pretty yummy. Especially extra butter. Oh yeah, extra butter where it's at. Extra butter and an icy. Mm. An icy like a like a slushy? Yeah, like a blueberry icy, wild cherry, blueberry mix icy. That's the good stuff, man. Butter popcorn. I don't know, I just love blueberry. I love wild cherry. You add those two together, that's a that's a magical icy right there. That's, that's what, a magical you, make, that's what you make in all of your uh your Gatorade bottles, yeah, isn't it? I do. Yeah, pretty much. I put a cherry with about everything. You throw blueberry in there, you mix them all together. But I thought I was like, I'm pretty sure I've seen you making the concoction. Yeah, I do. I make them a lot. I like to mix mix and match. I used to just do plain, like lemonade, orange. George just started making all these concoctions, mixing it all up. She played this game, she'd like, guess the flavor, guess the flavor. And then came up with all these brand new flavors. But now, it's the new normal. You gotta mix it. I understand. All right, those are the last two quarters. Come on. They push, right. they push. Nope. Let's pull. We have 85.50. Looking good. You look better good. every time. That's good. I, I appreciate that. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Now I just got to take this cooling tower down. We need it. We need it at Hale's headquarters. Cool off the, the big fires. Cool off, uh, cool off everything, man. It, it's hot. H-A-W-T. Ah! Because it's a heat wave! Oh, it just budged. It budged. That's all. Oh! Got a hundred bundle. Okay, that's good. You got a hundred bundle. It's definitely, it's moving. It looks to me like it's caving in. It is. It's caving in on the inside. Oh. You got mystery bag off to the left, caving in on the inside. You got hunter bundles falling. It's definitely moving. On. It's a moving and it's a group. There goes another hundred. There goes another stack right there. There oh, goes another one. Oh my goodness. They're coming off. They're dropping like flies. They are. They are. They're dropping like flies. 
Still trying to get the mystery bag off to the left. There goes the first one! No, 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 it's off! No, it's off! It's in! It's off! It's off! It's off! Oh, oh they're in a box! Oh, you're gonna have to trick shot, man. You're gonna have to trick shot. I think shot. we can do it. I think we can do it. Yeah. Oh, mystery bag still hung up on the left as well. You're gonna have to try and trick shot that thing in for sure. That's on the edge like that. Little Rapido. It was, it was in, and then it was off. Just crazy, crazy. But I have faith in you, man. I have faith that you can make this happen. That was an awesome fall. That was so cool. Yeah, you can get this. If anybody can get this, you can get this. Casino messed up. A Christian trick shot. What a way to end the day. Okay, good what luck. a way to end the day. Oh, that one was bouncing, too. Bouncing. Would have been sweet if it bounced the hundred in. You can do anything. Come on, blue switch shoes. That hundred is so close. It's just Maybe metering. just the vibrations of falling. Quarters falling will pull it in. It looks like to me like it's already gotten closer. Mystery bag has moved to the left, but it's still hung up. This is crazy intense. I don't know how much my heart can take. You got the skills. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you just did that. Oh, it's, it's twisted. so close. It's it, twisted. Oh. It's so close. Mystery bag is in the shoot 100% now. Wow. You're so close, Chris. Well, you got so this. many quarters. You got it, man. You got it. Remember, no plan. Don't no think plans. about it. Just play. Just play. Just play like you do. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, okay, it's good. Oh, nice. man. You had a few misfires, but I got to admit, that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. Wow. What nice. a way to end the day. Wow. All right. How much more ammo you got? A couple handfuls. Well, you're about to have a whole lot more. And we're not leaving any hundreds behind. There's a hundred off to the right. Just went in the chute. There's a hundred on the upper tray. There's a hundred on the lower tray. And there's got to be a hundred, if not two hundred and quarters. Man! We leave nobody behind. Thankfully, George got that bundle, that 700 bundle from last time. And now we got these hundreds to go home with, too. We might have to buy a new company car. We might be getting a Honda Civic. Oh, okay. I can I'm, I'm oh, right. check Bounce that out. Back. Bounced right off. There is a hundred right on the front lip. I just saw it. It just uncovered with the quarters. There's three hundred dollars. Nope, just fell in. All crushed with quarters now. Two more hundred up in the field. This is intense. This is wild. Wow. If there was ever a coin pushing Olympics. There's I'm no doubt it. you'd be representing Germany. <laughs> Germany. And I'd be representing Ireland. The 1% Irish? It's the 1% Irish, baby. It's all you need. 1% Irish. You're like, are you Irish? I'm like, 1%. Yeah. Alright, that's all I need to hear. They're like, which, per which part of you? Like, you ain't looking under my kilt. That's what I tell them. <laughs> Oh wait, it's the Scottish that wear the kilt. You know what? That's the, the, wrong people. Wrong people. Can we tell you I got uh, like a pat down at TSA when we went to Florida? You did? Yeah. You know, the last time I did, I made a joke and I got yelled at. You gotta be careful with them pat downs. I was like, a little bit more up on the shoulders, please. The guy said, we don't find that very funny. I went, I do. I was like, oh, why not? 
You want to give me a pat down? At least give me some karate chops up on the shoulder or something. I don't understand why you'd be upset by that. Relieve some tension. I, I feel like, him. you know, you'd be more upset by the people that are just like completely Me. rude about it. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I mean, I'm cracking a joke. I mean, I'm like, you, just some people are probably just mad at you because you're wasting their time. No, people right. just need to get a sense of humor and laugh. Those were my last quarters. All right, well, you got some ammo now. Let's pull. Nothing at all, so that's forty dollars. And that was hidden inside, right? Yep. Oh, I like that one better. It's a hundred dollar box. Yep. Double. Is it a double? Nothing, nothing in it. Okay. Two hundred there. Got some of them stacks falling as well, though, dude. Nice. There's one, two, another two hundred there. Did you pull mystery bag? I did. Where did I put it? You got so much right. going on. You got so much going on, you don't know what's in what pocket. Nice. Your bag. Oh, come on. Please be, please be car keys. And then you got so much oh, ammo to go after. A lot of hundreds. ammo. Wow. You have 298.50. You just got more. More just fell. All right. Let's see what you got, man. I know you got this. Rapido. 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 We only have two little stink stacks left to get. But you got it. You got it. I know you got it. You know, patients would be here if she wasn't having so much fun on their nickel spot. I'm surprised she hasn't ran out of nickels yet. Well, she did have that one win today, so maybe she had another win. She could be, she could be winning more than we are right now. She could be. Maybe she has a jackpot. Wouldn't that be awesome? Well, you, you think cool. they would have ran over and told us? Not if, not if they took it and ran. Okay, maybe not run. Maybe leisurely roll over. Nice pushes, Christian. You know what I'm I'm in the mood for? What? Chick fil A. Chick-fil-A? Yeah, that sounds is, good. Is there ever a bad time to have a craving for Chick-fil-A? Yeah, it's about like 12 to 1. I was going to say on Sunday. Oh, oh, Sunday's bad too. That's a bad day for Chick-fil-A. The reason I say 12 to 1 is because that's when the lines usually packed out to the road. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. How in the world they deal with all those lines, I don't know. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of... A lot of lines in there. It's wild because I don't even feel like they like they're it doesn't take that long for them to make the food either. They don't mess around, man. They make it happen. I think they just get a lot of people. They they get them through, but it's just there's so many people that go there. It's so good. I oh, always get a 30 it's... count nugget, get some mac and cheese, ketchup all over it. It's so so good. I get a nice deluxe sandwich. No tomato. That's the best. That's me. I, well, honestly, it's like the only thing I've ever got from there. Nuggets, I'm sure the nuggets I, are good, too. I can eat them nuggets forever, man. Oh, nice push. One more to go. He just always makes fun of me, though, because I put ketchup on my sandwich. Why is that funny? I, well... I know you wouldn't find it funny. No, that's a, that's a serious thing. That has to happen. Any other chicken sandwich I get, I put barbecue sauce on. But that's the only one I put ketchup on. You gotta have ketchup on that sandwich. Yeah, but they always, like, her family is like, I don't know, they love mayonnaise. 
So like they always say like, oh, why are you putting mayonnaise on your chicken sandwich? I'm like, ew. That would be. I don't yeah. like mayonnaise. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd be okay with that. I gotta have the ketchup. Got to have the ketchup. All over the mac and cheese, all over the nuggets. Oh, I thought you were gonna get it. Yeah, I. All foods are really just a vehicle to put ketchup into my system. Yeah, you gotta refill your blood, your uh, your veins. Yeah, that's that's what my that's what runs through my veins. Ketchup, ketchup, veins. Oh man, that hundred is ready to go. That's one thing I honestly haven't really noticed is I don't feel like I can tell a difference between Heinz ketchup and Great Value. I can't tell a difference, but there are Some certain foods can. that I can tell a difference, but like I don't. Ketchup's not one of them. That thing is just hovering. Come on. Oh my goodness, look at that thing hovering. It's so close. Hey, one you more almost handful. got it. You almost got it. One more handful, you get it. You got it. You got it. Here it goes. Right I there. know you got it. No. Oh, it's oh. teasing you. Playing with you, man. It's hovering like meter Three. Oh, there nice. it goes. Nice. All right, All right. let's pull. We have 327.25. That's a good haul. That that could buy a Honda Civic. Here's our one twenty dollar box. Still nothing, nothing but vintage air in there, right? Nothing but vintage air. Forty bucks, not bad. Another hundred dollar box. That's some dirty money right there, man. Look at them fingers. <laughs> Another two hundred. We'll take it. What a miracle. You got them all, man. All five stick sacks. That skill of those trick shots. I absolutely love it. But I gotta know, here are their keys in that mystery bag. Show me. Don't leave me in suspense any longer, man. Does it feel like keys? It, it does not feel like keys. Oh! We got some buying chips. We may not be going home just quite yet. 